Today on 321 Liftoff, we're going to be talking with Michelle Goldcamp, manager of Cocoa Beach Convention and Visitors Bureau, and Nancy Peltonen, CEO and president of the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce. We'll learn what these two fantastic cities have to offer visitors on Florida's fabulous Space Coast. It's coming right up, right here on 321 Liftoff. Three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Welcome to 321 Liftoff. I'm Wayne Belden, the president of Belden Communications, the publisher of the Space Coast Fun Guide and SpaceCoastFunGuide.com. We'll be bringing you 321 Liftoff each week, talking about tourism on Florida's fabulous Space Coast. With me is the host of 321 Liftoff, Bonnie King, former deputy director of the Space Coast Office of Tourism, as well as the past president of the Florida Film Commission. Bonnie, are we ready to blast off on 321 Liftoff? I believe hey. we are. Hey. I think we are. And today we are having a tourism conversation with representatives from two organizations that help promote the Space Coast as a vacation destination. Michelle Goldcamp is the manager of the Cocoa Beach Convention and Visitors Bureau. And Nancy Peltonen is the CEO and president of the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce and both of these areas on the Space Coast offer tourism activities and special events that residents and visitors can both enjoy. 321 Liftoff is brought to you in part by the Beachside Hotel and Suites on Cocoa Beach, offering a great overnight stay and a great vacation destination when you plan your visit here to the Space Coast, and by Longboards Restaurant and Tiki Bar, located at the Hilton Oceanfront on Cocoa Beach, offering a fabulous ambiance with great food and drink, great to bring your friends, and of course, by the Space coastfunguide.com where you will learn what there is to see and do in this fabulous area and where to do it. Joining me as usual is my good buddy John Belden with Vice President of Belden Communications. Hello John. Has a nice ring to it doesn't it? I know Vice it does. President. It does. Vice it sounds President. good. I like good to morning. say that. <laughs> good morning there Bonnie. Happy Friday to you. I'm going to tell you I am past chairman of the Cocoa Beach CVB and I know how hard it is for the volunteers you know how hard they work to make our visitors are, feel welcome. It's easy for me to yes. say all the visitors to feel welcome. So one of the major events that they put on each year is the Space Coast Food Festival. We have an absolute blast on that event. I know Michelle will be talking about that here later. And joining us in our conversation is our producer, Phil Bird. I cannot hey, wait to talk about food. You love the food, <laughs> don't you there, Phil? And my father, Wayne Belden, president of Belden Communications. How are you doing there, Pop? I am doing so fantastic. I can't take it anymore. Hey, you know, the Space Coast has 72 miles of coastland, the longest coastline than any other Florida county. And Palm Bay, which is inland, is a city that is an estuary of the Indian River and Turkey Creek. Again, another area surrounded by water. That is one remark we hear over and over and over from visitors to our area is that water is everywhere from the Atlantic Ocean, rivers, and creeks, lagoons, swamps. You got it. Comes to water, the Space Coast has it. Absolutely. Right. And with all that water, that means fabulous nature activities that we have here. So with our weather and our natural resources, let's meet the ladies who can make it happen for you when you come to Florida Space Coast. We have Michelle Goldcamp and we have Nancy. So welcome. Thank welcome, you. ladies. We're happy to be here. I know we have, you know, we are 72 miles long. So uh, Palm Bay is so different from what happens in the Titusville area. Uh, Cocoa Beach is different than what happens in both the areas that we have in the Melbourne, Palm Bay area and Titusville. So to talk about the difference, and we love to do that because it just shows that we have a great diversity here, a great variety of things, and a great look of different beaches. And the great thing about Palm Bay, now Palm Bay is inland, but what's really cool about Palm Bay is as you're driving down U.S. One through Palm Bay, its river is right there on your on, is on your side. I love that look, and there's so many neat little um, antique stores and uh, little restaurants that are like Riverside or whatever that are very cool. So let's start with you, Nancy, and maybe just give us a little bit about Palm Bay and what activities that you all are involved in. Sure. So Palm Bay is the largest city in Brevard County. So we have 120,000 residents and growing. We are wow. also the largest in landmass. We are 88 square miles and only about 40% developed. So this wow. is where the explosion is going to happen is in Palm Bay. And we keep seeing that every census it goes up. I, well, I, I see the growth that yeah. you guys have had. It's been fantastic. I, I When I was down in Palm Bay for 
uh, I don't know, five, six years ago when I came through there had been years. And I said, wow, look at all the growth here. It's it's incredible. Yeah, we have a new interchange, as you know, at mile marker 166. Uh, and it is going somewhere. Um, I know they keep saying it's the exit to nowhere, but um, <laughs> it does connect to um, Babcock Street and will eventually hook up to St. John's Heritage Parkway. So you'll be able to loop all the way around Palm Bay. And that's the problem with Palm Bay because it's so large. Um, it's... Um, it could take you 20 or 30 minutes just in the city to get mm-hmm. from one place to another. And with the growth and traffic, you know how that is. But we really are, um, I think, a natural resource. Because we are so undeveloped, we do have all those parks. There are um, 29 parks in wow. Palm Bay. Yeah, a lot. Um, and they just did an amazing extension. So I uh well, your listeners might not know, but Turkey Creek is an amazing um, park that you can go through. They have a boardwalk. Um, you can kayak launch from there. And on the boardwalk now, they have um, QR codes. You can take your phone and scan it, and it will talk about the wildlife that's in front of you, the trees. Seriously? Yeah, it's really cool. They did a great wow, job I of it. Try that. Yeah, it, it's you know, for you, you get out there and you have no idea. I've lived here all my life. I don't know the difference between all the palm trees and you know right. what's out there. So you could scan it and look and go, wow, that's it's pretty that's cool interesting. what they did. Yeah, Very it's a beautiful education. area, yes. isn't it, Bonnie? And yes, it is. They actually yes, have a full time ranger. At Turkey Creek. I mean, you know, you're kind of thinking Smokey the Bear and the Ranger. I mean, we have a ranger in Palm Bay at that park. So um, you can go to the ranger hut and um, get information and, and learn about that whole park. And what they just did, we just had a ribbon cutting last week. The um, Brevard Mountain Biking Association has um, made this spectacular trail. If you are a mountain biker, and I don't really say mountain biking because we're Florida. Yeah. But if we're you're, <laughs> yeah, if you're <laughs> off-road biking... Um, there's lots of routes. Um, I do. I, that was a sport I took up during the pandemic. But um, they have a trail now. They've done a whole boardwalk. They have um, over the Turkey Creek. And it is a 20-mile trail that is hooking up Turkey Creek over to the um, ice trail, which if you know Santos in um, Ocala, they have a lot of um, jumps and, um, you know, those embankments and so if you're a mountain biker, you can go there and do all this in the middle of Palm Bay. It is wow. unbelievable. Can yeah. I ask a dumb question? Sure. Turkey Creek. How to get its name? No? Uh, you got her. No, must yeah. have been a lot know. of turkeys <laughs> in the I, I mean, uh, was, is it related? Has something to do with the turkey? Because that's, that's what I think. Like, I'm a turkey lover. It maybe. could have. That might be something that we could Google and see. Yeah, I've the... never seen turkeys around yeah. there. I've seen peacocks, but I haven't seen turkeys, so I'm not sure. That's because they thought Still, the peacocks uh, were turkeys. Our producer. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't if you know. get on that and find Yeah, that and just kind of. <laughs> kind of check that out. Because I'm curious now at this point. Because right. I, I mean, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, of course, because the turkey. But when I hear Turkey Creek, I'm like, I wonder if maybe there's like a bunch of turkeys there. It or? could be from the um, First Nation group AIS is, um, and they were founded in well not founded but they had an encampment um, in Palm Bay so right where um, Castaway Point is right. there's a very nice um, you can walk along there there's two fishing piers and they talk about that um, First Nation group and that trail that I said Turkey Creek and mm-hmm. I think I say it wrong but it, AIS is how you spell it you said ice and, I think right? yeah ice is kind of what somebody told me but that yeah. could be wrong um, and that is named after um, you know a First Nation group so gotcha. Turkey Creek could be you know, something that they called it um, back in the day, but I have no so idea. So I've got the answer Oh, here. there you go. Oh, you okay. do? Go. What is that? John was correct. Oh! Ah. <laughs> it, used to, it used to have a lot of wild turkeys <laughs> along the area. Wild turkey. That's yes. a good drink right there, Dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smooth, Found man. at Smooth. Tiki bars. Yeah. <laughs> and, hey, maybe they got some right there at the Tiki Hut bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is interesting. And we, we you know, we're located, again, we're, we're here today at the Melbourne um, Orlando International Airport, and uh, Palm Bay is just a little south. Of where we are. Yeah, we actually, um, Melbourne and Palm Bay touch each other. So, you know, we just say we are just south of 192. You can come down into Palm Bay and visit us. Exactly. Listen, you got a lot there, too. You got the big old Bass Pro Shops right there. Yeah, Harley Davidson, Giant Recreation World. Fantastic restaurants, tons of hotels now. Yes. So, I I, I really do. I enjoy it there in Palm Bay. It's a beautiful destination. Fishing is spectacular. You know, we have Three Forks, we have the Stick Marsh. That is why Bass Pro moved into town. Um, We also have a lot of equestrian trails so um especially down in malabar and grant valkaria they also have um a paintball um hey. facility that's yes, fun that's yeah sounds like yeah. a company outing to yes. get some stress out huh? i know yes. yeah it just changed its <laughs> name um there's skate parks there's one in west melbourne there's one in palm bay um we have um 
like nature is really it's so amazing down there and you can connect from Mal- well really Grant Volcaria into Malabar into Palm Bay into West Melbourne it the trails are unbelievable and they just keep growing um, it's it's part of the grapefruit trail system so for those that are familiar with that it's you know I had no idea I've lived here for so long and I had no idea all of this was down there um, once I got biking it's like it's spectacular. I mean, I drove to Ocala, but I'm like around the corner from where I live yeah. is um, the most amazing. That usually works, right? Yeah, and that's right? what we yeah. just like the everybody to gem. know too, because they they know the names: Cocoa Beach, Cape Canaveral. Right. You know, um, right. even Melbourne is getting the name. But Palm Bay, they're like now whereabouts is Palm Bay? Right. So it, this is really good. So we're glad. We always want to promote and let people know that we're 72 miles long. But let me tell you, we got great activities in all these different areas. So. Let's go and get, go over to Michelle real fast. Now, Michelle has just taken over as the manager of the Cocoa Beach Convention and Visitors Congrats. Bureau. But she is, she's, she's not new to tourism. I mean, you've been around a while, and we've done many things together in many different areas. So give us a little background on you and then how, well, what position that you're now doing. So thank you for having me here and hosting me today. Um, I came, moved back to the area as a hotelier, as a director of sales at a hotel in the port in 2014. And I was there for three years. And then I went to a full service hotel in Vieira with a convention center. And then from there, I made the switch to attractions. And I went to Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex and was the manager for their in-market sales. Then now I've been at the chamber as the manager for a month. Yeah. So I've been part of the Chamber of Commerce. I've sat on numerous boards. I chair other boards within that. And so it's, you, you know. You have yeah. a very, very bubbly personality. And you're one of those that when you think of tourism and our friends in the tourism industry, you know you're going to see Michelle there. And it's you're great, I think, a perfect fit for that position at the CVB. Because for visitors and they want to have feel welcome, you're a great person to do that. Oh, thank you. Yes. So pay tell us, yeah, yeah, tell us what. Yeah, pay me later. Yeah, that, what, <laughs> tell us about some of the involvement that you are in with the Cocoa Beach. What you all are doing, and some of the special events that you have, and what activities are going on. So for the Convention and Visitor Bureau, one of the things that we do every year as a major fundraiser is our Space Coast Food Festival. So last year, unfortunately, we postponed it till this year. We were going to host it in September, but as a board, we made the decision after speaking with the majority of our restaurants that participate that due to the climate right now with workforce and not having enough wait staff and food cost rising, we felt that it was better to support them. And we postponed it again till March of 2022. So we will be back with a vengeance uh, in 2022. Let me, Great. T- let me tell you, and something we brought up, you need to talk about Kennedy and the food festival and Phil, you're going to love this. Mm-hmm. You think all these restaurants that come out for the food festival, one of the, the, the ones that steal the show every year, Kennedy Space Center, and they have these macaroons that are key lime, key lime oh, macaroons. Oh, I love key lime. Let me tell oh, you, boys. Space food? It's space food, yeah. yeah. We'll call oh. it space food. Out of this yeah. world, this let me world. tell you. Fantastic! So yeah. uh, uh, you definitely you, the, the, we're, 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 we can't wait for next year. I hope Kennedy brings back those those macaroons. If that's, is that how you say it? That's, that's yeah, actually macaroons. A, I, that's a, uh, a question within my household. It's macar- macaron, macaroon, macaroons. macaroons. Macaroon. It is macaroons. macaroon, right? Yes. All right. For those of you that are listening that are questioning me on that, macaroon. and and the food festival that you do now that that's a chowder. So big, big with chowder. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it used to be called the um, chowder cook-off. Right. And then we kind of expanded it from just chowder. So now it's the Space Coast Food Festival, and we open it up. We have tabletops. We have vendors there. But our restaurants that participate, they can participate in three different categories. So you can participate in chowder. Mm-hmm. You can participate in a twist, which means it's not chowder. Some people have done pork belly sliders. Man, we've had tacos. We've oh, had chicken. Good eating. We've had, oh, yeah, it is good eating. It you, is go, really you walk out stuffed. You roll out really is what it is. And then we also added a dessert section. So now those macaroons. Mm. Oh, wow. The you you talking about had these little like hazelnut a 10 cups. course oh, meal gosh. when you go to this thing. It's like, oh, what is it? Like, admission? It's like 40 dollars thirty dollars i forget what yeah. it is to get in but you do not leave hungry because there is just everywhere the best of the best are there and the food is incredible and, and entertainment is always good oh, we man. have entertainment we have raffles we have a vip connoisseur lounge and yep. those tickets go for a hundred dollars but you are entered one year we actually gave away a cruise i remember too. that I entered. So, uh, I didn't yeah. win. Can we please yeah. go? Like, can we, we gotta, I'm, I'm telling you. So it's good. Show, they, you had something. Howie D from Backstreet Boys was one of the judges for the chowder. 
Um, a few years ago, we had uh, the general from the base. We've had mayors. We've had city commissioners, county commissioners. Fun. So it's we've had um, local celebrities, like you said, Howie D from Backstreet Boys. So it's a fun time. We have a, a group of celebrities who come in and judge. They are stuffed to the gills by the time and, they leave. And the dancing. And we you, dance. You talk about Deb Green from, Deb from Longboard's Tiki Beach Grill. Oh, wow, she Beach cuts Grill. a rug, boy. Boy, I'll let me tell, tell you, she's one of the front runners. She, she cuts a rug. Moves. Yeah. It's, it's fun. You know, and the great thing about having you both as well is that the um, Space Coast Office of Tourism that promotes Brevard County, the Space Coast area, the whole Space Coast area, and you all are, di- you know, you all have your own areas that you promote, but you guys work together in great partnership so that we have, I, I look at you all too as an extension of the Space Coast Office of Tourism because here you are promoting and, and, and really letting the visitors know that, that are maybe already here of what there is to see and do in each of your areas. So we compliment you all for that partnership that you guys do. I mean, that's a, it's a great opportunity. Also, Nancy, give us a little background on yourself. Like, how did you get involved with the Palm Bay Chamber? Actually, I was a member of the chamber, um, both, um, well, actually three of them, Melbourne, Palm Bay, and, and Cocoa Beach. And uh, at my previous job, and just when this came up, it just seemed to really fit my skill set. So um, it's been, it'll be six years, September 15th. I was asking, uh, is this yeah. going to say how long has yeah. it been? Yeah. yeah. And it was funny because I had to present before Palm Bay City Council last night, and uh, Mayor Medina said, you know, how long has that been? And, um, you know, do you see the change that has happened? And I said, you know, it's funny, I'm applying for FCCP certification, and anal that I am. I went back to when I started in my daytime or old school and wrote uh, down everything I did every month since 2015 in September. Mm-hmm. And we, I had 16 pages wow. of yeah. stuff. And when I first started at that chamber, they had a monthly luncheon and a few special events. And so now, um, talking about special events, September 18th, we have a multicultural festival in conjunction with um, Visit the Space Coast and um, the City of Palm Bay. So all those groups that wanted to have festivals this year that we're unable to India Fest, Native Rhythms, Viva Brevard, um, Bacasca, they're all coming together at this event and we'll awesome. have a whole day of cultural entertainment. There'll be cultural tents. We're going to have um, dance and um, India Fest is going to do um, a fashion show of saris and how to wrap and tie one. Um, we have how to wrap and tie one. Did I hear that? Tie a uh, sari, not yes. tie one on. Oh, because oh, 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 yeah. oh, I was like, I'm down if it's for wrapping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> I knew what you were thinking. Well, there'll be food trucks, so if you want the alcohol, um, there'll be <laughs> there'll be a marketplace because we have a lot of um, farms and uh, down there's a lot of honey farms there are um, field to forks so there's um, we'll have a marketplace and other businesses can get involved in that as well and so it's going to be a whole day we're expecting a few thousand people to be at this nice. that's um, a good that's going to be a great event I, th- I agree I what's really the do. date on that September 18th it's 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. that's a Saturday right yeah, yeah. Fred Poppy I, Regional Park we're very proud in the Space Coast Fun Guide we have a five page spread of cultural events that you yes, can actually you do. find and you can find them on spacecoastfunguide.com we have a list of all the cultural events. That's a very big thing for this county. Uh, I have learned, you know, I've been in this county since 2013, so eight years now, and I learned very quickly that the, the amount of, of value that cultural brings um, in tourism, the economic uh, impact of that, and just the quality of life, I guess you'll say, when you come here. It's, it's a, and I'm glad to hear that you guys are doing that. That's going to be a big, big fun time. And when people are planning their vacation, they, they will look at a calendar of events to see, oh, if I go down to the Space Coast during this weekend, is what's going on there? Yep. Um, and that it's a good thing to have. So yeah. uh, we thank SpaceCoastFunGuy.com for doing that yes, because yeah. that is a good thing to look at and to see what's happening, not only with arts and crafts, multicultural activities, et cetera, but also the theater and what's happening with our theater. We have tremendous actors and actresses and singers that do such a great job, so we like to promote them as well. Yeah, it's nice to see it's coming back because uh, the Henniger Center, the Melbourne Civic Theater, you've got the Cocoa Beach Theater, the um, Titusville Playhouse. I mean, it's yeah. it's been so long. And I volunteer at the King Center. I've been there for 13 years. Um, you know, and last year they just really didn't have anything. And so it's slowly starting to come back with There's the bigger acts. some great acts there at the yeah. King Center. Oh, amazing. King Center yeah. 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 I see Louis yeah. Black, who's one of my favorite comedians, yes. yeah. is coming in December. The yeah. first weekend that I lived here, if you remember, you took we went and saw Harry Connick Jr. Yeah, mm-hmm. we took. Yep. Yes, it was the first weekend, right. and and, and yeah. I was like, wow, this is this is a heck of a spot. 
and it was yeah. uh, it was great. Nice. I saw Ringo Starr there, Ringo. and Davy yeah. Jones. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that yeah. was fun. The uh, what is it? What, what's what the um, blue collar comedy guys come there? Oh, I mean, yeah. they, they got oh, they got yeah. some big names. Ron and White. They, yeah, Ron, Ron White. White. Oh, oh Ron White. He's so good. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan Band came and did a thing yeah. for the troops a few years back, and it was amazing. It was free for all active duty. Anybody who was That's a DOD awesome. badge, so it was really nice that the company. They're in it. Well, speaking of that too, now you're very involved also with the Cocoa Beach Chamber with the Military Affairs Council. So tell us a little bit about that. What you all do with the military? So the Military Affairs Council, or the MAC, as it's lovingly referred That's to, right. is a 501c3 nonprofit within the Cocoa Beach Chamber of Commerce. So our mission is to really be a liaison between community partners, our local bases, and our active duty military, and our veterans. So how we do this is we do this by monthly meetings. So we hold a monthly meeting where our mm -hmm. unit commanders, our base commanders from the Coast Guard, Navy, the Space Force, Air Force units, all come and speak once a month. They kind of tell us what they've done, what they have coming up that they can talk to us about. And most importantly, they tell us about what their unit needs are. So we can be there through recognizing Sailor or Airman of the Quarter, Sailor of Airman of the Year. We also do this through morale and welfare where we can help if they are going to do like a family dinner or something, we get in touch with the community and we help provide fundraisers. One of the local ones that we just did recently for them was with the top three at uh, Patrick Space Force Base is that they refurbished part of the gym for the family center for the daycare area. So with Mac, we sent it out to all of the partners for toys, for coloring books, and the community stepped up and That's donated awesome. a bunch. So it was really, really nice to see. We also do every year. Last year was a little different. We turned it into a day event instead of a picnic, but we have a junior enlisted appreciation picnic. This is a picnic that we throw normally on the beach, but it is a full day event where we, the upper level officers, volunteers in the community, we come out, we cook, we serve E5s and below. So there's gifts, there's raffles, there's donations, but the community helps put that on every single year. Awesome. It's, a g it's, a, it's a great event. And, yeah. um, you know, and I appreciate that, that you do that. But I also appreciate the way you said right off your the tongue of your mouth, you said, the Patrick Space Force Base. Yeah, I, I was still impressed have, with that. So I have to right? stop and say it for words because it used to be the Patrick Air Force Base, which mm -hmm. just flows off your mouth. But they changed the name now to Patrick Space Force Base. And you know, that speaks very well yes, it of, does. of our area because we are one of the very first Space Force bases in the country. Yeah. So, so elaborate on that now because, I mean, you talk about that, the Space Force. So is it changing the, the territory i mean obviously we're, we're talking about space but but is that changing anything as, or as far as by changing the name from air force to space force well the air force is is w it's just like the navy army right. navy marines okay space the space force. force is now instead of five branches we've got six branches of service got yeah it. and, and we're so lucky here we actually have all six branches so we have uh, station Port Canaveral for the Coast Guard. And within that, not only do they do search and rescues, they do maritime, um, you know, like the MSD department does search for the cargo ships. They do search for the cruise ships once we start going. So they're really there to make sure that everything is safe for us on that side. And then they also do a lot of space. They run perimeter for astronaut recovery. They run perimeters for launches to secure as safe takeoff and landing zone like what we just had yesterday. Gotcha. Then we have uh, the Naval Test Ordinance. So we have a Navy submarine station in the port also. A lot of people don't realize that we have Trident submarines Trident that come in submarines. and out, yeah. which is our amazing. We have Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, which supports the 40 or Space Launch Delta 45. So they're the ones who man the range up wow. there for Kennedy and NASA and for the government side. And then we have Patrick Space Force Base. And on Patrick Space Force Base, we have the 920th Rescue Wing, which is an Air Force wing. We also have DIAMI, which is the Defense Equal Opportunity Management Institute. And DIAMI is all Man, who branches. knew all this stuff? I mean, you, you talk about like uh, how bu busy Atlanta is. We have so much going yeah. on here. And what do the Marines do? Yeah. So the Marines, there's actually Marines at the DIAMI Institute right now. And what they do is they are all the equal opportunity. So they do training for all six branches of equal opportunity of human resources. 
and they also have a civilian component of that for DOD. So it's a really, really, we're very blessed and have a very wide reach here. Mm. And because of that, we have almost 100,000 retirees through our county Wow! that Patrick supports through the commissary, through the pharmacy. Right. Well, I, I just want to say that honoring our military, I want to do a shout out to the, um, the Beachside Hotel and Suites because they are very military oriented and they have they bring in ambassadors um, every year usually twice a year they bring in ambassadors that are going to go across the united states and the world to be representatives of the united states and they have these receptions for them and they honor them and we as a community get to go there and and meet these people and find out where they're going and so that's at the beachside hotel and suites and we'd like to say they are a sponsor of us and we you know we want to promote the fact that if you're coming here to the space coast it's a great place to stay as a hotel Beautiful. with their with their total renovation great colors there in the room and great great it looks i know you've it been there it looks great the, the wonderful lazy river that goes the length of the hotel it's the amenities. That's that, uh, you know, for for somebody like myself, it's all about the amenities. You got, like you said, Bonnie, the Lazy River. You've got the NFL tickets. So you can watch the games. They give you everything. If you're a family and, and you you know you're trying to make sure you're 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 having a lot of fun and not breaking the bank. Let me tell you, go stay at Beach Hotel and Suites. If you need bicycles, if you need boogie boards, if you need a cart when you're going on the beach, they got everything there. I mean, that's that's a definitely one stop shop. Yes, it is, and they and you can go look at their video and look at their pictures at the beachside beachside hotel cocobeach dot com, and you can see the video and the pictures that they have there. Michelle Martindale, as we've said before, is their sales director. Um, just contact her and come here and stay on Florida Space Coast. And, and she's heavily involved on Mac as well. Yes, she is. She's actually one of my board members, and there she's a liaison for the Navy League and helps with the Army also. So you night. veterans that are listening, I mean, she does a lot for veterans. And, Absolutely, and a lot for it's the a military, great place so. to come. I didn't know that. All six branches were here. Were here. So right. that's, that's some, some pretty useful information. Well, that said, yes. I think it's time that we find out three things that you may not have known about the two of you. Oh, great. And the chambers. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, this boy. is going to be interesting. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So three things you need to know is actually brought to you by Longboard's Tiki Beach Grill located in Cocoa Beach. We'll get into the Longboard's Tiki Beach Grill here in just a couple of minutes. But right now, if ladies, we can go ahead and tell us three things that maybe we, we need to know about uh, Cocoa Beach, Palm Bay, or yourselves. We would love to hear it. Uh, uh, Michelle, you're bursting from the seams over there, oh so I'll start gosh. with you. If you can give us three things. Interesting. Three, three yeah. interesting things. Three interesting yeah, well. Or okay. just three things you feel like telling us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, I'm a competitive country ballroom dancer. What? Ah, uh, yeah. She, yes, she, she is a great run. ballroom dancer. Yes, she is. Oh, competitive, not just Yes, I know. Right. I know. I didn't compete last year or this year, but next year um, my goal is to make worlds. Wow. So, great. But we have some amazing dance through through the county. Like there's wonderful ballroom, country ballroom instruction through the county. So wow. that's, that's a lot of fun. That's one. Yeah, that's one. one. Number two, I've traveled in an airstream travel trailer for eight months when my oldest two kids were two and four and i've been to all but seven states in the u.s wow, wow. Well, that's interesting okay so that was two and three. Oh, let's see <laughs> you want one more i have hiked i've summited two fourteen thousand foot mountains in the same oh day gosh. in colorado the same wow. day. Yeah, we we started. Um, it was my 39th birthday, and my best friend. This was my birthday gift. So we went up. Torture. It was, <laughs> no, it was for me and you. It sound that way. Not for her. So <laughs> awesome. We base camped at 9,000 feet. Summited the first incline at Gray's at 14,070 feet. We came down on the Saddleback Ridge to about 13. Went up to the second summit on Tories. 14,067, and then we came back. It was nine hours of hiking. Holy oh, wow. man. I saw, I'm tired right now. Just if that's not, that. if oh, that's not it, getting high, I don't know what it is. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, you think you're in shape to hit like 11,000 feet, and then you're like, I can't breathe. And But the view was worth it. Oh, it was so I'll bet stunning. it was spectacular. What about you there, Miss Nancy? Well, I have met in person all of the living presidents. Really? Oh, wow. that's yeah. interesting. Look at you. <laughs> Yes. Didn't know you had that kind of juice. <laughs> wow. Well, a lot have come through here, actually. Um, I met George W. Bush in the hangar here at the airport when wow. he was uh, running the first time, and actually his father was there. So um, uh, that's, that's kind of interesting. That's very interesting. <laughs> um, I have visited 39 of the 195 countries of the world. Wow. I do like to travel. I, I, 
Wow, wow that's interesting. I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> um, I too. And I haven't looked at how many states I've done, but we, I have done a number of those too, uh, and Canada. John, pull out a map. Let's guess. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've never seen snow. You believe this? Like, and you, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm a Floridian right here. So, thirty. You've been to thirty-nine countries. Correct. Yes. Gosh, I gotta get yes. out more. Um, I was supposed to be in Miramar, <laughs> and they had the coup. So luckily, we did. <laughs> COVID was good for one thing, um, and um, I have. Um, oh, in Germany, in the Nuremberg Ring racetrack, I had won a trip over there, and uh, they didn't realize we didn't speak German. We were supposed to be on um, a track where they teach you how to drive uh, your car and it's go a dream through, of mine. right? Yes. Yeah, so going through oil slicks, water, and all that. So when they realized mm -hmm. they wouldn't be able to instruct us because we didn't know German, they had a fellow um, rent a Porsche, nice. and yeah, and they took us around the Nuremberg Ring racetrack. He wasn't a professional, but he had been in a race before. For, and so only one of us could go at a time with him. So I went first. And he was going 190 oh kilometers an hour. Um, but this track is open to the public. Mm -hmm. So you could take your Ford or you could take your motorcycle on this. And so this guy is going, you know, this 189 wow. miles an hour and like inches from these motorcycles and cars. And the motorcycles are going around, you know, where they're literally banking the corners and right. almost touching the ground. And I'm thinking if we hit them, they're dead. And he was just flooring this thing and we're up the ramps and everything it well, was probably where is this wow. i want to take so the, to <laughs> yes. the, the nuremberg is a is the track in germany so whenever you hear auto trader or any of these motor trends talk about a new car being tested on the ring yeah that's what they're talking about i'm taking mine out there i want to check it out and this is hey, their old one that to the so list. they wow. opened up this old one to the public so it's like can an just attraction you pay i mean I, that sounds I'm fun sure. to me yes yeah, so open sure it up to pay it's yes seven yes. miles yeah. about seven miles yeah. long it's cool wow wow so, and we wow. got to watch the formula race that well, was going on there too it was pretty cool Three things you need to know brought to you by Longboard Tiki Beach Grill there in Cocoa Beach. Once again, a beautiful, fantastic destination to go to. You spend the day on the beach here on the Space Coast. We have 72 miles to choose from. Absolutely beautiful. And if you're in Cocoa Beach, once you come off the beach, come into Longboard Tiki Beach Grill. They've got a beautiful Tiki Beach, Tiki Beach, Tiki Bar there. They've <laughs> got a beautiful beach deck. Bar. They have the, the NFL ticket. They've got, they have this, especially right now this time of year, they actually have live music all weekend long. So a fun destination to go to. Bring the family, and they have kids' meals there too. So, and you have Deb Green, and she'll be dancing, and cutting a rug. Let me tell you, and she she, she knows she, how to get down. Deb look. Green is the general yes. manager of the Hilton where Longboards is. It open to the public, so you don't have to be staying there. That you know, even if you're a beachside hotel and suites, come check out Longboard Tiki Beach Grill. Fantastic, and we appreciate our sponsor. And uh, really, and I'm going to just give you a little insight, something about me. Um, when they were building that little bar that was out there on the beach, um, they took me out to look at it and to see what it, you know, looked like. And it was, you know, very nice. And it, the, the, the bar itself looked absolutely gorgeous. So I put my hand on it because, you know, it was so shiny. Well, the reason why it was so shiny was they had just shellacked it. Oh, no. So, yeah, so my little fingerprints are in there. And, of course, the minute I put it there, the guy was like, oh, my God, like, stop. So I <laughs> lift my hands up. So, anyway, I, I claim fame they that if you're sitting you? at the bar, and they did not. and yeah, um, Permanent Bonnie print. <laughs> yeah, so if you're sitting at the bar and having a drink and you see those little handprints there. We Bonnie. could make a thing out of, like, a hidden Mickey at Disney. <laughs> exactly. You could find the hidden Bonnie print. Like yeah. You get a something or other. But it's a I'll fun place that. to go, Longboard's Tiki Bar. So we'll we'll see you there and have a drink and yes. sit. I love to sit on the little couches when they have the fireplace going and it just is, um, the little fire spot. pits. It's just fun. It's a great spot. Locals go there. It's it's just a great place to hang out. So we'd love for you to go there. And that's LongboardsTiki.com if you want to look at some pictures and and get some information. So what's next, Phil? So I was just thinking about the uh, the clam chowder stuff. Um, <laughs> These special events. I didn't know all these special events were opening up. There's one thing that we should do for if we do if we go. Yeah. Yeah. These special events. We should do Space Ghost Trivia. Oh, oh hey, oh, there you go. Always a good right. time. <laughs> here Redemption. We go. Here we go. Redemption. Right. Space Coast Trivia. Essentially, I have some questions here that I'm going to ask you about the Space Coast. And if you know the answer, just say your name. Do not blurt out the answer. Dad. Okay. Dad. Say your name. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So I got two teams here. All right. Let me get the camera. The girls right. versus the guys. You guys are going down this time. That's right. That's girls right. Versus Last the week, guys. Bon Team Bonnie beat us, but this week yep. we're coming back with a vengeance, right? That's right. Big right. time. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> the clock is ticking. <laughs> you guys actually already answered one of the questions already. But, uh, <laughs> I didn't. Uh, so I get the point. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nope. Quick, quick. You All didn't right. say your name. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So 
First question. Okay. What's the name of Elon Musk's rock rocket program he has? John. Here? John. SpaceX. SpaceX, that is that correct. Fast. Yeah, I was nervous was as I was yeah, answering. Yeah, yeah, I could tell. I could tell. SpaceX. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there something else I'm not thinking of? <laughs> All right. Next question. Where was the location of I Dream and Genie set in? Bonnie. Bonnie. Cocoa Beach. All right, that is correct. Cocoa Beach. Oh, so Cocoa Beach fair. is known well, I know for I Cocoa Dream Beach, of Genie. I, I, I was going to say Patrick Air Force Base. I mean, we have I thought you were asking Patrick something Space specific. Lane. No, wait, we have I Dream of Genie <laughs> Lane right yeah. there by Lori Wilson Park. That's what I wasn't sure if you were yes, looking we for. Yes, we do. All right, this is a space question here. When was the last time we went to the moon? This is just go go for the year. Do we have 19 History buff over here. Do, do we have 1972, 1975 or 1975? Bonnie. Wayne. Bonnie. Oh. 1972. That is correct. Yeah. Rats. I was going to say it. I said it before, <laughs> but I didn't say my name. It's all good. All right. What's the name of one of the military bases located? John. There? John. <laughs> um, Patrick Air Force Base. J- Patrick Space Force Base. Uh, uh, I mean, his yeah. first answer yeah. was incorrect, so yes. we should get a steal <laughs> on that one. I'm it's not it tech- If you Google it, does it come up? Yes. Okay. Yes. We just had the colonel come, and it's Patrick Space Force Base. Correct. Well, for, for, for better Force suspense, Space. I'm going to give him the point because it's tied. Okay. <laughs> so. I'm just, All right. I, I, I want to have further discussion on that because. <laughs> Yay, Phil. All right. I'll I still like that name. Okay, one more. Last question. Worth all the marbles and all the points and all the bragging rights. NASA stands for what? Wayne. Wayne. National Aeronautical Space Administration. You are correct, sir. Yeah. You did good. Nice. Good job, man. All right. All right. You guys won. Woo. Very right, so, good. So, who, okay. so, so we've done this about three or four times yeah. now? Yeah. Right. Yep. Who, who, who's, who's, the ch- who's, who's the champion here? Who's well, so much pretty much a tie. Bonnie's won two, right? And you guys have won two. Uh, I, yeah. I have been, let's put it, let's board it this way. I've been on three winning teams. Yeah, it's 3 1. All right. So it's the, 3 1. The next time we play, everybody's going to play against John. Okay. All right. He'll be on okay. his own team. But we got to put right. something, something on the line for this if we're going to do that. Drinks on John. Fine. It's we're all really going to do it. It's all good. So, what? let's see. What are you all doing on July 4th weekend? What's happening in your areas that maybe you want to talk about? Nancy, anything happening with you? No, but I wanted to talk about two other things because these are kind of cool. In October, on the 21st, we are going to the American Muscle Car Museum. That's something we didn't talk about. I'm coming. Oh, nice. This is pretty amazing. So for tourists that are interested, it is not really open to the public. You kind of have to come to – he really supports nonprofits. So um, you get to see this massive collection of cars that he has. And uh, we're having to mingle there for two hours. And then on um, November the 18th at – uh, Larson Motorsports. She is the two-time World Jet Dragster champion. Um, we have our advertising and marketing auction, and Elaine Larson um, goes 289 miles an hour and uh, has won, um, like I said, the World Championship twice, and they build the cars there. You are able to tour. They work with Florida Tech with engineers to go through. They do the welding. They do design. They maintain. Uh, so really cool locations, and those were two I didn't get to bring up, but I just think they're hidden gems here in our county that people don't know about. Um, Fourth of July, I'll probably stand on the balcony and watch the fireworks because I can see it all the way around, all the way up and down Indian River. And I know Melbourne's shooting them off. And um, Palm Bay has fireworks in yeah. Fred Poppy Regional Park. Palm Bay has uh, food trucks and fireworks on, yes. ju- on Sunday, July 4th. Yep. Uh, parking opens to 6 o'clock. Fireworks are at 9 o'clock. All so, right, that sounds yeah, very I mean, cool. Come on, food trucks and fireworks, that, that's all you really need. I right think there. that should be our new our new show title. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you get to watch stuff blow up and eat while you're doing right. it. Right. This is great. Really? And how about you? What's happening with you? So in the Cocoa Beach regional area on tonight, actually, in the port, we have the fireworks on the water. Right. So we have that in the port. Tomorrow night, Cocoa Beach will have those on the beach side. And then on Sunday, the actual 4th, we will have the symphony at Cocoa Village with fireworks. I love that. It's three days of smoke on the water. I love it. Isn't it great? I love it. It's going to be a great time. So you can just, you know. You Take the boat out and have a wonderful weekend. You can learn all about all about these events more on SpaceCoastFunGuy.com. Shameless plug, I'm not afraid to say it. Nope. So, yeah, go ahead and check out those events. And, and uh, for those of you that are on the way here to the Space Coast, you send us your request. We know you're on the way. But we're going to have a lot of fun here on, in Brevard County for Fourth of July. A lot of fun. It's going to be a, a bang of a good time. Yes, it is. Am I, am I going to see anybody tonight at Smoke on the Water in the port? 
I will be at Fish Lips. Oh, okay. All right. Well, very good, because I plan on going and watching the fireworks at uh, the port area, so it'll be good. I'll see you there. Absolutely. And we should explain what Fish Lips is. Fish Lips is? Fish Lips is a restaurant in the port that sits on the water. So um, Bonnie and I frequent there a lot. (laughs) Yes, we do. (laughs) Do you you have a handprint there, too? (laughs) No, I don't have a handprint there. No. Yeah, yeah. butt print in the seat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful place to watch the cruise ships go out, which is going to be starting to happen pretty darn soon. soon. So we're happy Exciting. to say, with I know that there was a big um, conference yesterday. The port gave a big update on what's happening with the cruises, and it looks like at the end of July we start um, cruising out of Port Canaveral. And that's going to mean great things for the Space Coast because a lot of visitors come in. They'll spend the night here before they go out on their trip. And we look forward to that and getting back to normal. That's what we're trying to do is just get back to normal and have a great time and everything. So, listen, ladies, thank you so much for coming, giving us an update. And uh, we appreciate everything that you do for promoting uh, your different areas and promoting the Space Coast. And for those of you that that are all around the United States and Germany and the U.K., We welcome you to come here, and uh, please, if you have any questions or information, info at spacecoastfunguide.com. Just send us the information there, and we'll send you all the information that you need about how you can have a great vacation here on Florida Space Coast. So we will see you all next week. Have a great time. Thank you. That's a wrap.